like no matter what I do, I'm going to always piss somebody off with reviews that I do. And that's because there's always two sides of the camp. There's the people who um, don't want to see reviews on products that are made overseas and they only want to support American companies. And then there's people on the other side of the fence who want something cheap and affordable. And that's not always stuff that's made in America. So it really uh, becomes kind of an issue because it's like, what do you do? So what I try to do is, at least in my videos, I'm always trying to show a variety of products um, and from different manufacturers, different sources. Some are overseas, some are U.S. made, cottage industry type companies. Some are the bigger manufacturers. Uh, you know, I feature a lot of stuff that you can find readily available in the big box retail stores because that's what we're surrounded by. So, you know, my philosophy is that you buy the best that you can when you can, but other times you need to, you know, buy things that are affordable. So I'm always looking for stuff that uh, is on the budget side, but I'm also looking for items that are quality. And there's a few manufacturers that I love supporting, I've supported in the past, and I'll continue to do so because they produce superior products and they're companies that are growing. And... So what I want to do today is show you a couple of products that I just picked up um, that I'm really excited about because they, um, I think, really exemplify American-made nylon equipment that, um, you know, you can't find at Target or Walmart or even on Amazon. These are cottage industries. They're small companies. Um, as far as I know, they're only really manned by one or two people. Uh, you know, the guys that sell the products are the guys who sell them. And, um, you know, I like supporting them when I can. And when I saw the, these new iterations of their products come out, I wanted to get them and I wanted to sh share them with you guys. So. so the first thing we have today is the Hidden Woodsman Haversack. Now, I've done a video, several videos on Hidden Woodsman products, on the Possible's pouch, on his signal panel, on the last iteration of the Haversack, but this is his newest one. And he's made some updates to it, and when it came out in multicam black, I was like, okay, I gotta have this, because I love multicam black. I'm kind of obsessed with it right now. Um, it's my new favorite, and I, any time I find multicam black products, I, I see if, how I can fit them into my gear. So what I love about the Multicam Black is that, of course, it, it is a camouflage, but it's also very subdued. And it can go from urban to, you know, out here in the woods and do both pretty well. Um, and it's just sharp looking. It's unusual. It's kind of cool. There's a lot of um, mainstream manufacturers are starting to use Multicam Black. Um, you see it a lot in, um, like, skater type products and, you know, urban lifestyle products. So it's not like uh, it's totally military in any way I think it transitions between both pretty easily so the updates that I wanted to show on this haversack um, are pretty simple and they're really there's really not much that's changed but the biggest thing is that Malcolm has added a grab handle to the haversack and to me that was one of the biggest pet peeves of mine on the older versions of this haversack that did not have a grab handle and when bags don't have grab handles it really annoys me because there are so many times that you're transitioning from your house to your truck to the woods and you're just picking things up by the handle and setting them down on a seat or whatever and they're just easier to grab by um, um, certainly easier and then trying to you know control this big long strap and then wrap that around your hand and carry it that way certainly can do that but the the grab handle to me is just a bonus feature I felt like it needed to be on the product, and now it is. So when he came out with this new version, it was like, I'm going to get one. I'm just going to wait for the color that I want. And then, lo and behold, Multicam Black with these Coyote buckles. Sharp. Just really a sharp-looking bag. Like, I, I have no problem wearing this bag um, walking around town uh, for urban carry. Um, and it's, of course, the durability of this product is perfect for the wood, so. So everything is mil-spec. 
and sewn extremely well. Heavy duty buckles. Uh, nice, another nice feature. He has retention Velcro sewn into the strap, so when you're when these straps are too long, you can roll them up and, and keep them nice and neat, tucked away. Molly webbing some on the sides so you can add some pouches. Of course, the grab handle. Another feature that is really nice about this bag, and this has always been on his haversacks, is this axe sleeve. And it's perfect for carrying a small hatchet. And it's in such a nice spot. It does a really nice job of holding it um, and keeping it close to your side. Um, it's just a great option. So you, you can pack this thing pretty full with your gear and still not compromise by not taking a hatchet with you. Usually you have to take a day pack with you, but with this pack you can you can have your hatchet with you, which is awesome. And I got the new Fiskers in there. Dirt on there, not a big deal. You open this up. He's moved his Velcro panel to the inside. Um, if you want Velcro on the front, uh, that's an additional charge and he'll put that on there for you. Um, so I got mine on the inside. There's a zipper pocket that runs the full length of this bag. It's very deep. And then behind that, there's another slip pocket that goes all the way to the bottom as well. And then to manage the gear on the inside so everything doesn't come spilling out when you open it up, you got a Velcro panel right here. So he's been putting this high visibility orange and other high visibility colors inside his packs for a while. And it really makes it nice for finding your gear quickly. There's a, uh, a small pocket sewn in the back right here. It doesn't run the full length, but it's, sh it's a little bit shorter than the full length of the pack, but it does a good job of holding things like, I've got a canteen lid in here, a cup lid. And as you can see, this holds a lot of gear. And then there's a nice nylon webbing reinforcement that goes around the back of this, and that helps hold that lid up and gives this bag some structure. And I think that's important when you have a, um, a satchel or a, a haversack. You need, you need a little structure to it so it can stand up on its own. That's what the nice thing about this bag is once you have this thing filled up, it stands up on its own really easily. And you get into your contents pretty quickly. So the other company I wanted to talk about is this S4 Tactical Gear. Um, I've been following these guys on Instagram for a little while, and I've always loved this pouch that they, they sell. It just seemed like the perfect size for tools to go into your haversack, your backpack for bushcrafting. Now, and just like the haversack, this is made of a 1000D nylon Cordura multicam black. But I just really love the simplicity of this product, but also the durability. It has a really nice grab handle at the top, and then has a secondary 550 cord loop on the bottom. So you have a variety of ways of storing it or hanging it. And then nice heavy duty zipper. But the size of this thing is perfect for these long items that you keep in your kit. Now I've got my knife sharpener in here. I got a fire steel, I got a lighter, uh, a little task light, a pocket bellows. So for carrying a variety of tools, this is, makes a really nice tool pouch to throw in your haversack. And once again, you know, it's, it's made in the USA. Um, if you go search S4 Tactical Gear, you'll see their website and see what products they sell. Like I said, they, they primarily sell tactical stuff, but this pouch, this particular pouch, I think is perfect for the woodsman, for the bushcrafter, the hunter um, who has a variety of items that they want to carry in their haversack. Certainly great for a pistol cleaning kit, knife maintenance kit, fire kit, uh, storing 550 cord you know a lot of different variety of options with this but I like it because of uh, how tall and narrow it is and it's got that good grab handle so it's perfect for my haversack so it fits right down in there and it's perfect 
just the right size. So. So I know everybody's gonna ask, so I might as well just go ahead and show it. So this is what's actually in this bag. Um, it's really not that dissimilar than all the other kits that I carry, but it's basic stuff. So I've got my nesting cup with my Stanley bottle. There's a bandana stuffed in there for cleaning up. Just keeps it from rattling around. I've got the Bushcraft Outfitters mess tarp. I've done several videos on how I set that up and also how I can use it as a chair in the woods. And then there's the S4 tactical pouch. And that's just got all the various tools that I carry. Knife sharpening, some fire starting equipment. Of course, I've got my uh, new knife, which is the uh, River Bottom Blades M1. There's Baco Laplander. There's the inside of that bag, so you can see the, the pouch in the back. There's the lid from Lost Wild Outdoors for my cup. This back pocket, I have this pouch of tinder. What's in here is basically just uh, jute twine and uh, fat wood. 
And then another product that I haven't even tried yet, but I just picked this up, Pine, Pine Fire Shop. Looks intriguing, it's like a piece of pine wood, just a piece of fat wood. So I got that in there. And then the very front pouch. Is my first aid kit. Cliff bar. A small folding spoon from Toax. And then uh, some of this stuff. I don't know if you guys have seen this stuff. This is another cool product from the US. This is Dragonfire Tinderbox Company. And this is their first aid healing bomb. It's a one inch tin. And it, uh, as you can read, it's organic uh, safflower oil infused with uh, calendula flowers, comfrey, St. John's wort herb, plantain, beeswax, blah, blah, blah. So pretty cool stuff. It doesn't have a strong odor to it, which is nice. Uh, I like that being a guy. I don't want anything that's going to smell, you know, too flowery. But it's... Uh, Real buttery, smooth stuff. Great for your lips. I love the strap on this bag because it's so long. I can, I can make it long enough and carry the bag to my back. So it sits basically on my lower back. And that way, I don't really notice it while I'm walking or hiking. It just rides back there nice and comfortable. 